everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be painting these three paintings here so go and grab your art supplies and paint along with me. The first painting that I'm going to work on today is this watercolour eye and I'm blocking in any of the bright whites with my masking fluid pen and for each of the paintings today I am using my Paul Rubens watercolours. I will leave links to all of the products in the description box in case you are interested in checking any of them out. Now if you watched my last video you'll know that I'm trying to play about with my art style to find something that feels like it's truly mine. So for the first painting I felt like going for a semi-realistic eye. I thought I wanted to go for something quite pretty, quite delicate and just interesting to look at. I'm using quite a lot of the wet and wet method for this for the iris because I thought it would lend itself really really well to the different colours and specks that you can see in an eye. I think sometimes they look like little galaxies and I just find that so interesting. I used quite a lot of my yellow ochre and reds and I also added in quite a lot of purple tones in the skin tone because I wanted it to look quite realistic with some of those cooler tones that often do come through around the eyes rather than heavily concealed and made up. I wanted this to be quite a realistic representation of how people often do look. I'm not sure if actual realism is an art form for me because I do really like to experiment and try out lots of different colourways and I do like to add colours in to really make my pieces pop so personally I don't know if realism is going to be a way forward for me and I do get frustrated sometimes when non sort of art people or people that aren't as into art really only credit people if they think that something looks realistic. I don't know, do you find that, do you find that your artwork may only get noticed if it looks realistic or like a photograph? The reason why I actually painted this eye is because before this I was actually painting a portrait and I felt like I really wanted to challenge myself with a larger painting but it just wasn't turning out how I wanted it to. So I put that to one side and then started painting this eye for something relaxing to do. I might go back to the original portrait at some point. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I posted about it on my Instagram stories. If you want to see some behind the scenes of what I get up to in my art studio, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see what I am doing during the week. But I'm really happy with this eye and how it turned out and I feel like it helped me work through that process of not being very happy with a piece of artwork. And I would say that's the best thing you can do if you're feeling frustrated is maybe put your artwork to one side and then go onto something completely different and see how that works out. And how satisfying is it pulling off that tape on a finished painting? Oh, I just love it. For this next painting I'm going to be using a single colour. I'm a really big fan of painting with just one watercolour because I feel like it really challenges you to think about your tones. So I'm using this blue and it is the most used watercolour in my entire palette. I just absolutely love this blue tone, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I want to create an entire watercolour palette with these really nice deep tones and that's something that I've got planned because I just really really enjoy using a single colour when I am painting. So I thought it would be really fun to create a really nice landscape painting with a moon and just work on the different tones to create those craters in the moon and then some trees in front of it. So that's what I have created here. I'm just thinking about the moodiness and the mistiness of the trees that sit in front of the moon and I just found this a really enjoyable piece to create. So if you want to challenge yourself on using just one paint, I would definitely say give this a go. It's really low stakes in terms of making sure everything looks perfect and it's a really good warm up activity to try out some painting techniques with. 
you don't have to use blue you could use absolutely any color in your watercolor palette whatever your favorite one is let me know in the comments what your most used watercolor paint actually is what is your go-to favorite color so this last piece is going to be really vibrant, really colourful, really joyful and I'm just working on some really nice vibrant botanics. I've really been in the mood to paint plants recently, I absolutely love plants, I am a bit of a crazy plant lady, I absolutely love my garden so I decided to paint this kiwi cordyline with its vibrant lime greens and the really vibrant pinks. I thought this would contrast really nicely and also I really enjoy using these sorts of colours when I'm using my acrylics, however they're not always ones that I use too frequently when I'm using my watercolours, so I thought this would push me out of my comfort zone a little bit and just get me thinking about what I actually want to be painting when I am creating my art. If you've watched any of my most recent videos you will know that I want to create or start developing a series of paintings and creating these little watercolour paintings really helped me just work through my process and think about what it is that I actually want to be creating when I am painting. I think it's really important to remember when you are painting or drawing or creating whatever it is you like to create that you can experiment, you don't need to stick to one particular item, you can paint things that make you feel happy because that's how you are going to develop as an artist. Let me know in the comments which painting has been your favourite today and which one you're going to try out and also make sure you subscribe. If you're looking for some more watercolour ideas go and check out these videos here, I've got loads on my channel. I will see you in the next one, thank you so much for watching, bye guys.